Thanks for checking out this movie review video. So this is for the 2020 film Caveat. It's a Shudder original film and it's coming to Shudder on Thursday, June 3rd. Now I'm putting this review up ahead of that and because it's a new film, because it hasn't hit Shudder yet when I'm putting this up, no spoilers in this one. I'm just going to give you an idea of my thoughts of how it went and a few kind of technical things and story-wise things, but not mentioning any real events of the film. So here we go with this one. Written and directed by Damien McCarthy. Uh, this is a film from the UK, just so people know. Once again, coming Thursday, June 3rd to Shudder as an original. Now, the synopsis of this is basically, I, I don't want to give a lot because there's too much to, to give that. So, the, the setup synopsis is basically, it's a guy who has some memory lost issues and a friend of his asks him to kind of babysit his niece who has some mental health issues on an island. I, that's where I'm going to leave it. I don't want to go too much further because it will ruin a lot of things about the film. So there you go. I will say I think it's worth watching. I think it's probably only worth watching one time though. And I'll end up getting into it because... While there are a lot of really good things about this film, there are also a bunch of things that I think are problematic with it as well. But regardless, uh, I'm going to lay all those things out, but regardless, I really do think that this makes me very interested to see what Damian McCarthy will do next, because this is McCarthy's very first feature film. And starting like this is pretty good, in my opinion, especially certain things I think he did extremely well, and I'll talk about those. The opening sequence is weird and creepy, but it had my full attention. That's all I'm going to say about it. I don't want to give you any idea of how it starts. And by opening sequence, I mean it's like the first minute or two, basically. And then they start to get into the actual story. It's one of those things where, you know, films start with a little sequence to kind of grab your attention. This one really did that. I was actually still, you know, trying to do some notes and it sucked me in and I just stopped. Like I was literally sitting there with my phone just like in my hands like mid typing and just like focused on what was going on until the title came up and I was, and then I went back and did a little bit of that. But yeah, it really does grab your attention. It's very well done. I like it. Great intro. There's an item that's used in a very interesting way in this film and it also adds an extra creepy aspect to it. Now, that said, it does get used numerous times throughout the film. It's kind of littered throughout, but I don't think it was used enough. I don't think it was explained, and it should have kind of been explained, at least a little bit. Um, and you'll know what I mean when you've seen the film, or you'll know now if you've already seen the film and you're watching this review. Um, but that particular item, it works really well, so I wanted it in there more, and I wanted some sort of at least vague explanation as to why it is used the way it's used in the film. And so I kind of felt like a little wanting. Now, my theory on, on what that has to do with the overall with the film, I also think really needed to be fleshed out a lot more and have more explanation or just have more of it in the film. This film has problems here and there where it kind of seems like there was a really good idea here and there was a solid script, but the ending was in question. Like, that's how it kind of felt to me, is that going into making the film, they weren't 100% sure, or Darren McCart McCarthy was not 100% sure what he wanted to do with the actual end of the film. So it feels a little confused, a little jumbled, and the way they go, one of the things they do in the very end of the film, I really don't think the track was laid for the film to successfully go there in the end. So, just saying. The setup for the whole premise of the film is pretty far-fetched. That's another big problem. But it is interesting. So, it's one of those things where if you want it to be very realistic for what's being set up, very realistic to life, if it feels like it could be in real life, which this does feel that way... Um, you're, you're going to have a problem with this film then because there there are things in this film that are very far-fetched. The premise initially is very far-fetched. How certain characters uh, interact with each other, things they do, things they don't do, a lot of those things, well, not a lot, a few of those things end up being far-fetched and you really note that as an audience member and it can kind of pull you out of the film for that reason where you're like, that person wouldn't do that, or that person would do this, or 
that seems kind of dumb then it doesn't make sense for this character so those types of things there are too many of those in this film i think not an insane amount but there's enough that it kind of they feel like speed bumps when you're watching the film and it does kind of jar you a bit the set is very creepy and dirty and you really don't feel like any area of that place would end up being safe this speaks to one of the wonderful things with this film is the creepiness is very palpable. The atmosphere is very well set up and it maintains throughout the entire film. And that is a huge achievement. And that is one of the greatest things about what Darren McCarthy has done here. A uh, wonderful tension to the film. So creepy, great ambiance, wonderful atmosphere to it. Uh, love the feel of this film. Just the sustained feel of this film is outstanding in my opinion. So I like that about it a lot. The other thing is, like I'm getting to, like with that kind of sustained tension and that sustained kind of like dirty, creepy setting, uh, you don't feel like there's safety ever. And that goes, I guess that goes partially into the maintaining the tension, but you just don't feel moments of safety for, for characters, which is a good thing. It's a very good thing with a film like this. So kudos on that. There are good stints of no music, which makes the sound design more important. And the sound design is solidly done in this, so that's another bright spot that I was very happy with. Also, when the music comes in, it's not crazy. It's not over the top. It's well done, and it fits the mood, and it fits what's actually going on in the film. So that's another one of those well done technical executions with this film. Line delivery is pretty emotionless. I don't know if it's intentional, but it does match the set to a degree. So I don't know if that was an intentional choice for that reason, because uh, with the setting being very drab and very creepy, you know, I, I don't know if they if the actors were supposed to deliver lines in an emotionless way, but it does become distracting. It does become a bit of a problem because this speaks to another overall problem, which is the characters aren't very relatable. The characters aren't set up very well. They do kind of just jump into it with them. There isn't really much of any development for the characters. They're very one-dimensional, and the emotionless speaking just makes that stuff kind of worse, in my opinion. So the character part of it is tough. The story and the premise part is much better, but the character portion is kind of tough. I think the acting was fine for the most part. About 30 minutes in, the story takes a large step forward, and the main character does something because of uh, does something because of that. But it's what he doesn't do that will have you yelling plot hole. That's another one of those things. It, this goes back to the thing where I was saying like there are things that characters do do, things that characters don't do, uh, and they end. They, yes, they do end up becoming kind of like plot holes in the sense where you're just like. I, there, I have a really hard time believing that this would happen or that this wouldn't happen. Like, a really hard time. So, just saying. And for that reason, it, it's just there are certain things that the script has done to move story forward, not because they were the best choice, but because that's where the predetermined uh, route was set for the story. If that makes any sense, or is that too confusing? Basically... Convenient writing, in a way, ends up happening in this film. To be like, I wanted to get from point A to point B. This isn't the most clever way or most interesting way to get there, but uh, that's the way I know how to get there, so I'm just going to do that. Kind of like that. Directing and cinematographer is fine, or cinematography is fine. Uh, nothing flashy, but you do get a, a kind of inspired shot here or there. It's, it's kind of basic, to be honest, with the directing and cinematography, but um, with how the set is and the creepiness and the tension and the sound design and the music and all that, uh, you you don't notice that as much, that it's not like particularly great directing or anything. The pacing is good for about the first hour, but then it starts to feel a bit slow and confused. It's like when you're writing and you're considering the ways that you can take the story so it ends up being all jumbled in your mind. Like, that's what it feels like made it into the film, is that part where you're, like, actively trying to think of how you want to end the film, and you have all these conflicting ideas of what you want to do, so you just kind of take it out of your brain and just throw it onto the screen, and it's this kind of jumbled mess that 
goes to the viewer is is seen by the viewer and the viewer feels that as well. That they're kind of like, I see that you didn't fully know where you wanted to end this or how you wanted to end this. So you just kind of like, blah, blah, blah. It's kind of like when someone's talking and they have a very clear idea and then they just kind of, instead of finishing the sentence, they just kind of like trail off into like a mumble that you, it's like unintelligible. You can't, you can't tell what they're saying. It's kind of like that. Like that's how the film finishes, which is a real shame because like I said, the first hour is really nice. I really enjoyed the first hour of it and it moves at a good clip. But then for the, like the last half hour, well, it's a little bit less than half an hour. Last like 25 minutes or so, it's just slow. And that's not how you want to finish a film, especially a film like this. I don't really think the groundwork was laid for the ending that was chosen. I know I said this before, but that bears repeating. The groundwork was really not laid for how they chose to end this thing. And there is an ending of kind of like, okay. Like it doesn't feel like it mattered that much. It just really, it just, it just didn't come together in the, in the very end. But the ride to get there for the first hour was quite good. I enjoyed that. Um, yeah. There are, this is, this, I'm going to re, I'm going to reiterate this one. There are things that do or do not happen in the film out of convenience to move the story where it's wanted. Uh, this ends up creating some moments of viewer disbelief, taking you out of the film, unfortunately. Character depth is not a thing, and they don't act the way people would act. That kind of goes in with the last thing. But this bears repeating in a good way. Atmosphere, tension, sound design, and unsettling music are the best things about this film. And that's the reason I say it's definitely a film that should be watched at least once. Some people may love it, and some people may want to watch it numerous times, and that's great. I hope that happens. But there are also going to be people who see it once, and they're like, eh, it wasn't my thing. I feel like there will be more people who are kind of in my boat where they're like, there are things I really liked about it, but there are things that were really kind of problematic at the same time. So, yeah. But that's my assessment of it. I would love to hear other people's thoughts on this film. Uh, do you agree with me? Do you disagree? Let's talk about it. I mean, is there anything I missed? Put it down in the comments and we'll talk about that. You can go ahead and do spoilers too. That's fine. Just know spoilers in the comments are cool. Go ahead. So uh, out of five stars with half stars in play, because I liked the things that were done well as much as I did, I'm going to go with three star on this one. I was between two and a half and three stars, but the tension, the music, the, the atmosphere that's created, like that stuff is so good. And I was so engaged for the first hour that I've got to go three stars on this one. So I think it's definitely worth checking out. And like I said, it makes me very interested to see what Damien McCarthy will do in the future because this is a good start, in my opinion. It really is a good start for a potential film career. So good luck to you, Damien. Um, like I said, go ahead and put some comments down there. But do me another favor. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I have a lot of people who check out my videos who have not subscribed. And it helps me out. It motivates me big time to keep going as is as, as long as I'm sorry as long as I'm getting more subscribers you know every time I get a new subscriber I get an email I look at that person's profile and I say to myself that is awesome thank you to this person and it just lets me know that it's being consumed that you know there are people who are actually enjoying what I'm putting out and putting my time into so that's the motivational part of it so I would appreciate that also hit the notification bell button because then you get notifications and we'll know whenever I'm putting up new videos, whether it's kind of a new spoiler review like this or one of my super in-depth analysis uh, reviews of other films or unboxing or haul video or any of that stuff. But anyway, I regardless, I really do appreciate you taking your time to check this out. And until next time, keep it brutal.